In this video, I'm going to make a tool with a custom animation. Ah, there's my little tool. I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to start lifting. So you can see I've been playing Lifting Simulator. Because the last video, I actually made a click system to make the guy grow, make the character grow, and increase the health. You don't need the last video for this video, although it would be cool if you could combine them. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make our custom animation. I'm going to stop. I'm going to delete my dumbbell. We don't need it. And I'm going to go to Plugins, Rig Builder, R15, Man Rig, push them on the ground. Go to your Animation Editor. Click on the, the dummy. If you didn't get anything here, make sure that this, an, this is, has a rig on it. So like if you try to build your own thing, it might not have a rig. So you won't get your Animation Editor. Um, create uh, this little window here that says Create an Animation to Start. We'll say lift. Ah, my caps lock is on. Lift. Lifting one. There we go. All right, so here is my timeline. I have no keyframes, and I have nothing under here for um, animation that I've done because I haven't started yet. I'm going to move my arm up because when you pick a tool up, it's going to be about chin height right there. Now you can see I have upper arm here, and then I have a keyframe at zero. So I'm going to go to all the way out to zero colon 12, right? And then I'm going to move him back down. And then I'm going to copy this one. Copy selected. Go to 24. And I'm going to paste the keyframes. So I'm right-clicking, if you're wondering how I'm getting that menu up. Right-click, you can copy selected. It would copy this, though. Whatever selected, yeah, selected, copy selected. And then you can paste, you can paste your keyframes. Let's play it, see what we got. Ah, that's pretty good. All right, and you can turn the hand there, too, if you want. But uh, then you'll have to turn your, your grip on your tool. All right, I'm gonna do the most important thing on these animations that's gonna that's gonna really hurt a lot of you if you don't see this hit those three dots set animation priority action so if you want it to fire when you click you need to have that set to action once again those three dots set animation priority action all right we can save now there we go and now if you want to use it outside of this guy like we do we're going to export it so I have my lifting one, submit, yay. Here's my animation ID. If you lose it, you'll have to go to your Roblox create web create tab on your website, look under animations and you can find it. It's also in the URI, the URL. All right, we're gonna close this. So that I don't lose this, I'm gonna actually get rid of my dummy. I'm gonna put a script here and I'm gonna paste it right here because knowing me, I will copy and paste something and then lose my ID. All right, now let's make our tool. Let's go to our workspace, go to home. In this workspace in your Explorer, add a tool, All right? In the tool, well, let's add a part this way. Add a part and just push it in your tool. There you go. And that tool, I'm gonna call that handle. So magic happens when you call this handle, you get a touch touch to interest added to that and you'll see that later it doesn't show up right away I'm gonna make my tool a little bit different size I'm gonna make it two studs by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 nice we can make it like black and stuff but I just want to get to the I don't want to make this too long go to your tool add local script and this is how we're gonna make our animation work I'm gonna say local we're gonna get our player player game get service players local player because it's a local script we're going to get our mouse and the player has the mouse get mouse and we're going to get a, a char we're going to get a character so player character or player dot character added weight 
Because if you had this in your backpack or something, your character might not fully be in the world. So I always do that little safeguard right here. I do this character added weight. So it'll take it if it finds the character. If not, it'll wait till the character's added. And then the script will move forward. Whoops. Local. I'm going to have a humanoid. I need the humanoid for the animations. So I'm going to say wait for child humanoid. All right, just a little extra precaution for the wait for child. I'm going to get my tool, and that's just attached to the script. I'm also going to make a little flag called can lift because I don't want to lift again until I'm finished my animation. All right, so then we'll have a function called play anim. Let's make it a little anim variable, instance new animation. And we'll need the animation ID. This is where the magic happens. So Roblox asset ID slash slash. Let me see if I got that right. R B X A S S E T I D. Good. Now go to your script. Copy that. That's my asset ID that I got when I saved my animation. And paste it. All right. Let's make a track. So we're going to get our humanoid and we're going to load animation. And that's just anim. Let's play the track. And then we'll wait. We will wait the track length. So I have the speed set to one. I, it's defaulted to that, right? I didn't change the speed or anything. Um, the length, the duration is going to be different if you change the length or if you change the speed, something to other than one. And let's see what we got. Okay, now we just do our tool functions. I'm going to say local function on activated. We'll say if can lift, then then we'll turn can lift off. We'll, let me just get this up here because sometimes you can't see at the bottom on YouTube. We'll say play and in. Cool. And then we'll turn can lift back on. So there's going to be a little pause here, right? Right there. And then when that's done, we'll turn this back on. All right, so we're going to have a function called on equipped. And on equipped, our tool activated is going to connect to on activated. Did I get that right? Get rid of those two extra. I'm not able to spell activated today. Now, ooh, I'm done that. I'm done all my functions. All I need to do is take my tools equipped, connect it to on equip, on equipped, get rid of those two extra parentheses, and you're done. Let's play it. I want to keep this under 10 minutes. Come in, here's my new tool, pick it up. Woohoo! All right. Yeah. So if I get my click, start mashing my clicks. Sweet. Lifting Simulator 2 is on its way. All right. I hope you had a good, I hope you had a good time, and I will see you in the next video.